Uh, so what I said about exits is in the next two years, to be fair. So it's not only 19, it's, it's the next two years. And the reason why I say that is most of the venture funds that started about five years ago are, are in the maturity stage. So the next five years are going to be the years where venture funds are going to be seriously looking at finding exits to some of these companies. And then there, is, there has been some discussion about some of the big, big mergers and acquisitions and exits of some of the big uh, players here in the region. I mean, you must have heard and you know about the Kareem and Uber uh, discussion. I think, I don't know where it is now, but I think it's something that is going to continue to be a story uh, this year. And there's a lot of maturity in the startups in the region. So these companies that were born somewhere around 2011, 2012, uh, have raised much more money. They are growing much faster. The region is adopting uh, mobile uh, smartphone technologies much faster. They're interacting much faster and at a much larger scale, specifically in Saudi Arabia. So, uh, and thus my, my thesis that uh, this is the time when uh, there is size, there is scale, and the big funds uh, globally, even regionally, uh, who don't want to take the risk early on, are going to be uh, are going to be looking for uh, entry into a market that they don't have much presence in. Uh, so, General Atlantic, uh, with Property Finder, just uh, late last year invested 120 million dollars. So, anything that goes over 50 million dollars in a check, you will see much more activity from the big uh, big boys globally. Uh, even NASPERS. What about the regional investors? Because in the last couple of years, it's been look, tough. Look, my view on the regional investors is that family and high net worth individuals have always been uh, risk averse to investing in tech. They, that the, the thesis of investing in venture has not matured yet. So until you see these exits, until you see the returns, until you see what sort of performance uh, funds are going to have, uh, it, the, these risk-avert uh, uh, family offices are not going to jump into it uh, heavily, even though there are some that are doing that. Uh, what I would look for in the next two years, Hadley, is, uh, is, is the sovereign wealth funds. Mm. Right. So there have been a lot like of talk about like them. Mubadala. They will. So uh, I'll tell you, I mean, Mubadala uh, has launched a venture arm. Uh, they started in Singapore and uh, sorry, in Silicon Valley. Uh, they are uh, launching in a venture fund in Europe. Uh, the natural progression is here and I'm hoping that they would come here. I think uh, you will see something happening from them. Uh, in, in Abu Dhabi specifically and, uh, and to influence the region and look for PIF out of Saudi Arabia. I mean, there is, I know, well, I know because I am in, 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 in that business uh, that they would want to do fund of funds. They want to go out and invest in funds and in venture funds that are doing tech. Now, you can look at Bahrain. They launched a $100 million uh, fund of funds now uh, to encourage, again, regional and Bahraini uh, startups. The World Bank in Jordan launched with the Jordanian government $100 million. So there is that government money that wants to encourage uh, the startup ecosystem, want to create uh, jobs for people in the tech space, etc. I mean, that's... That's where I think the scene is uh, in the coming two or three years. Hey, everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now, to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.